Form versus function. There's a fine line between making something usable and making something beautiful. Let's start with the device that we all use the most, our phones. This is an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and it does indeed look beautiful. Just from an engineering standpoint, it is a literal marvel what phone manufacturers are able to make. Although in my mind, they still haven't made a phone that looks quite as good as the iPhone 5. But as beautiful as this phone is, it is just not usable in everyday life without a case. It is just too slippery. It's not a question of if I will break this phone, it's a question of when. And if we're talking about comfortable usability, I'll go step further and say I will not use a phone without a pop socket anymore. And don't get me wrong, I am with you. A naked phone is beautiful and it just feels like a shame to put such a beautiful piece of engineering and machinery into this ugly case with this garish bump on the back. But form and function is a balance. There have been phones that have been just as beautiful, but weren't slippery. But what is the purpose of the phone? Ultimately, it's to use it. As nice as it looks, it is not a piece of jewelry. In this particular case, function just has to win out over form. The experience of using a phone where it just rests in your fingers is something I can never go back on. Even taking pictures and videos feels more secure when you can anchor your fingers to the back. The question is, where do you draw the line? Maybe to some people, it will be worth it to risk breaking their phone by not keeping it in the case. For me, I only had to break mine once to never go caseless again. And I suppose you could make an argument that this is actually a good thing, but I can't use my phone in bed without a pop socket. So is it a crime to put something that looks this bad onto something that looks this good? Possibly, but the alternative is worse. And like seemingly everything else in life, it's all a balance. And I think the line will be drawn at different points for different people. Some people will go as far as a case, but refuse to add the usability of a pop socket because it looks too bad. My brother is one of those people. Some people won't even use a case. A famous YouTuber is one of these people. For me, I know I'm too much of a spaz and my house doesn't have any carpet, so a case is non-negotiable. And that comfort of a pop socket is just too good for me to go back on now. Each person's line is hopefully going to make sense for them, but judging by the amount of cracked screens that you still see, I don't think everyone's found that balance yet. And you might be wondering why I'm not mentioning the removal of the headphone jack in phones. And it's because while in the short term, it was definitely painful, the removal allowed for space internally and analog connections are inherently going to be more finicky than digital. The conversion from digital to analog has to happen somewhere in the chain. So why use a fiddly analog connection when you can put the conversion inside of the headphones and use a digital connection? I absolutely appreciate a good form, but in general, I think I skew a little bit towards the function side of things. My car, kind of looking its age these days, but the function is still top notch, so I'm not gonna pay to improve the way it looks. Dragon Quest XI, I would love to play it in 4K, but ultimately the quality of life improvements like the sped up battles and portability want out over the improved graphics. Although quick side note that I don't really wanna mention because it's counter to my point, is that I picked the Switch version because it has orchestrated music, which falls under form, but you can do that on the PC and still get the 4K graphics, but I still picked the Switch version because of the sped up battles and the portability, so I guess it did fall under function after all, so I guess I could have left this in. Anyway, this subwoofer is ugly and takes up a ton of space, but I got it for cheap and I want that sweet low end. These CRTs are god awful huge and ugly and I want to get rid of them, but I can't because they have the lowest latency and are the only way to get that authentic experience. I don't like the color of these shoes at all, but they don't make them in a better color and they're perfect besides that, so I use them anyway. I don't like the way this jacket looks, but it's warm and that's what matters more to me. Now, one glaring aspect I haven't mentioned yet is money, and that can bridge the gap between the two significantly. But where do you draw the line? Are you willing to sacrifice function for the beauty of it, or would you sooner eat a bilge rat than another burger? You know what the problem is? I can't take a shower in the morning because I run at like noon. So I take a shower, and then four hours later, I need a shower again. And when it's this cold, I need that shower to warm up and feel like I can actually start doing stuff. But I don't wanna take two showers like right in a row. Sometimes I do, 
but I don't want to. You know, seriously though, I think this is enough winter. It's just enough, man. At this point, come on, man. Come on. Come on! It is 25 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Does that seem right to you? 25 degrees Fahrenheit? I did not think it would ever happen, but it is about to happen. I was literally trying to record this, but as I was setting up the camera, it passed this threshold. Adventure Archives has hit 90,000 subscribers. I try not to dwell on that too much because the pace of our subscriber growth has been glacially slow. But I also have wanted to get to 100,000 subs and had that stupid plaque for so long. And it is actually going to happen. We are actually going to get to 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> Okay, I gotta take a shower and get the day started. <laughs> the truth about the sliding on the floor is that this floor is just really slippery. So I'm always slip sliding around anyway. So I just kind of integrated it into my regular movement. Although the other day I was doing something and I came in here and I slipped and I fell. That was not on purpose. <laughs> Anyways, music writing is coming along. Got a couple songs made. I think that I could actually have a full repertoire of songs ready to go by the time we have another episode to edit, which we'll be filming another one in a few weeks. The other day when I was talking about marketing YouTube videos, putting a good thumbnail, getting a good title, having a nice intro, and a good video, of course, to go along with it. Every single Japan video that I did, I made a thumbnail and a title in a video that I would hope would actually get into that algorithmic stream. One of them caught on, two of them actually, the Hokkaido video and the Northern Tip video. They both seem to be pretty exponentially rising. They didn't do it on day one, but like after a week. It's very encouraging because it shows me a clear path towards actually making that happen. As near as I can tell, that is the way that YouTube channels grow, is they have videos that will catch on and be recommended to people on their homepage. That's where we've had all of our big spikes. When the Japan video was on the homepage, huge spike. When the Timberline video was on the homepage, huge spike. This time, another huge spike. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I hope for as long as possible. I wanna get that 100,000. It's gonna happen. But it's very encouraging. For Adventure Archives, I care very much how many subscribers we have. For this channel, I don't really care that much, but it actually seems possible that I could get 10,000 with enough like videos that really like. I need an answer on something. Writing music, very difficult, very painful. Sometimes I can get into the flow of it, really start feeling it and feel pretty good while I'm doing it. The results are almost always super satisfying though. And I'm so glad I did it. I'm like, yes, that hard work was worth it. Video editing, almost completely painless. The only time it's really difficult is if you have a bunch of random footage that you just have to look through. But the actual process of editing and putting stuff in the right order and putting music in, it is just a joy from start to finish and it provides endless satisfaction. It's like eating junk food without the hangover. Running, difficult, but extremely satisfying, feels good the whole time I'm doing it, feels good after I'm doing it. It's just nothing but a positive experience. Writing videos. The ideas are easy. Like I can think of a million ideas for a million different videos right now. And I have like a big list of them. But actually sitting down and writing a video and hitting all of your points and getting it across from start to finish, extremely difficult but very rewarding. Here's the question I need answered. What makes some of these difficult and some of these easy? Because I think it has something to do with skill level. Writing music, writing, I'm not very good at those, so they're quite difficult. I can do it and then the product is fantastic, but the actual getting to that point is just like pulling teeth out. Editing, I know that program in and out. I can do anything in there. Running, I've been doing that my whole life. My legs are like, two steel beams just pew, 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 pew. no problem so I, I guess i just answered my own question i was gonna ask what is the thread in there that makes some of these really difficult and some of these really hard but all of them rewarding and i think it's just skill level i'm sure you guys have all heard about flow so i won't belabor that point 
but there's this point where skill level meets difficulty. That's this perfect union where you're just in this zone and it feels so good and you produce masterful things. But if you're too far over here where it's too easy, then it's nothing. And if you're too far over here where it's too difficult, it's just too difficult. So anyways, long story short, practice and consistency and you'll get to the point like where I am with running where it's just, it's you look forward to it. When you do it, it's like, oh, or like when I'm editing and you just like, pow, 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 pow. anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna try to write some videos and resist the temptation to watch next generation. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. The other day when I was talking about marketing and you gotta, gotta the other day when I was talking about marketing your YouTube videos, the mother, <clears throat> when we did, when I, <clears throat> for Adventure Archives, I care very much how many subscribers we have. <clears throat> For Adventure Archives, I care very much how many subscribe. <laughs>